live. You're now watching Two Old Farts Making Noises. We are here. Hi, Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Adam. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Very good, yeah. my friend. Today, yeah, we were How's just your so far so good. You just woke up. You're like a man of leisure. Yeah, now. yeah. I woke <laughs> up one hour ago because I was working till very really late. That's my normal uh, time. Right. Yeah, we were at seven o'clock. You know, in the wow. morning here. It's now um, four four at the afternoon here. Yeah. So, but it's probably too hot for you to work in the in the mornings anyway. Yeah, yeah. The truth is that summer came back actually the last yeah. two days yeah. only because for yeah. I don't know like, like three days ago we right. had such a big thunderstorm here, which is good actually because we need water here in Crete in Greece in general, but in Crete especially the islands in on on the Greek islands they need water. And um, I was because some friends came from uh, Luxembourg, Polish Polish guys. I was taking them around for a tour, and um, I watched the 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 big the big dam that uh, we collect water for the city, and it wasn't uh, very full, so it was quite empty. So maybe with the the, the thunderstorm, some some water came. So because we need the water also for the tourists, you know, Crete is very mm -hmm. touristic place, and we need a lot of water here. And so two days uh, now. Two days. It's it's been like a real summer now, and it's so welcome, nice. Welcome to welcome to summer. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to summer. But so it's always before, you know something. It's always like rapidly. It happens. There is a ch climate change. I can right. I can remember when I was a ch child. You know, it wasn't so hot. Greece was always hot, but now it's almost every year that we have like a week or something that's over 40 degrees celsius i don't know how it's in fahrenheit but so that would be 110 fahrenheit yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. last year we have a week with uh, 46 or more wow. 10 days 10 days with 46 that, that's extreme you know for us yeah. extreme. if it's for us extreme imagine a guy from holland coming for for vacations you know it's it would yeah. waste well, away nothing. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, well, I lived on I lived on Chios uh, for uh, nearly a year, so I had I had one of those really hot periods, oh, but so it was like know. forty degrees, thirty-eight, forty degrees, yeah. and it was like stepping out as if somebody put a hot iron against your face. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I remember uh, this happened once. Yes, this happened how once uh, the, the highest that I ever experienced was in Athens, oh, like 15, 16 yeah. years ago. And it was like 36, 37, but in Athens, it's full of concrete. You know, it's a city very dense right. uh, yeah. with uh, buildings one next to each other. It's, it's, you feel a little suffocated in Athens. And with this su sun and with this hot, you were opening the door and suddenly a, a wave of heat, like an oven, you know, <laughs> wave of heat was coming to your face. You know, you're immediately closing the door because... Yeah, we we experience things like like this in Greece, and I think that year by year it's it's more often. I think this is part of the climate change. Yeah, I know, I agree. And also, the, the rapid uh, because climate change is not only getting hotter, which is the case also, of course, but it's also the the, the rapid changes that, that can happen. This year we didn't have winter actually. Normally in the winter here, uh, um, uh, it's raining and we have thunderstorms. And this year it wasn't. It those things came in the spring, hmm. so we had a cool spring and a warm winter. And we'll yeah. see how the the summer will go. <laughs> I hopefully not forty degrees and it'll, it'll be thirty five, forty all summer. So. It's been the same here as well, Adam. It's, we had a very uh, mild winter and a very wet summer uh, spring. And only now, this last week, it's I think we're up until uh, the early twenties, I think, 
and then this week it could get up to a staggering 25. So they, yeah, um, well, we are, we are the so, same. But yeah. but in Holland or in Poland, uh, when it's 25, it's not the same feeling of the heat. No, no, you know, no my, it's really uh, really yeah. wet and claustrophobic. It's really yeah. wet. It's 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 much yeah. worse than here. For example, I'm used to hot uh, temperature, but when I was living in Poland like uh, six seven years ago, I experienced probably the most hot day ever because the houses there they're not built for for um, for the summer. They are built for the winter. They want to keep temperature inside mostly so they are hot in the winter because they don't have too many hot days in the summer but when it happens and the day is very long during the summer and the, on the north of europe it's really really hot you don't know what to do with yourself actually i didn't know what to do with myself i was taking showers every two hours <laughs> <laughs> because it was really really hot for me i it's it's worse than in greece because greece is yeah. more dry hot Dry hot, yeah. Yes, it, it's it's well, hotter. Talk, you were talking about some something really hot before we before we started recording. Uh, yeah, there yeah. was there was an incident uh, <laughs> that <laughs> that became also viral on Twitter, and somebody said that uh, it's early in the month, but this is the Twitter of the month <laughs> because mm. I wrote something. I, I found out, uh, you know, looking around for some porns, you know, and. Uh, I, 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 I looked at there was an artwork in, in behind on the scene uh, mm. in this film. And of course, this made me, it is the second time that I see it. And it's, it's of course, it's a funny thing because you, you, you're looking at the porn and you see suddenly your artwork there. But I have to say that this artwork is, at least the copy that I saw, is illegal. Because okay. it was in black and white, and I don't sell, sell black. It, it's the most popular artwork that I have. So if anybody uh, now from the viewers know what's going on in this thing, because I, I would look it up, because I need to look it up, because it's strange condition, you know. It's it's very strange. I cannot just leave. I have to learn. So it's a big issue generally with copyrights and the artists, because mm -hmm. there are many artists that, are, that has been, you know, uh, they're stealing their work from them. They're selling it afterwards in uh, uh, on Amazon, on uh, Alibaba. This is a big problem because this is Chinese. Alibaba is Chinese, and we can't do do we can't do much. I think, but there must well, be a way. We have to find a way how because they are also selling in the West. I mean, you can buy this artwork, which is illegal, from the West. I can buy it. I can buy my own artwork. <laughs> you know the legal yeah. artwork, yeah. Right, but I know, I know but that the there's um, there's law firms you can hire, and the law firms have like bots yeah, yeah, and they yeah, go out we'll and look it. for things and and whatnot. Yeah. But it was interesting. I don't know if you want to name the name of the porno that people can go watch your artwork in. I don't know, but the, anyway, the, the production, the, but doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it was good production, high quality. We all enjoyed it. But anyway, yeah, yeah, it uh, is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> so, and you get an exercise, which is important. But I, but uh, when we were looking at NFTs and whatnot, we would like on an open sea. Allegedly, there'd be tons of people, and we had several artists like Connie Acres and a couple of them that would be like, "My art is there. I didn't put it there." So people would like take their art and put it up. So I think this copyright, and now the way everything is, um, I think it's going to be a larger issue as uh as time goes on it is know. it is but yeah. it's also different you know because it's different when a big company which is making money for and it's use it, it it somehow and it's right. different when a poor guy you know because uh, there are guys who are sending me pictures that they have uh printed a copy you know yeah. and put it on the wall but i know immediately if it's legal or not right because I know my sizes, I know I've been selling those artworks, you know, for a long time. Right. And most of them yeah. are, are illegal. But I don't say anything to them, you know, because I have kind of like bigger uh, um, sizes, uh, uh, in di a pixel dimension, so you can print right, right. Uh, there. And I know that people are doing and this is my like uh, my contribution to people who don't have money. They can take it, but it's it's not original. But it's an artwork, of course. It's, it's the same artwork, yeah. actually. Okay, the, the, the files that we print are better because we print TIFFs. But, it, right. but Adam, isn't it, isn't it slightly strange, really? Because at the end of the day, it's a, it's a real compliment to you as an artist. That it is, people, yes. That people want to, uh, you know, to, to have your art on their walls. 
Um, it is David, but, you know, but it, we, it, we've got to live from it. You know, we are not, yeah, we are yeah. not really uh, rich and stuff. And we've been saying yeah. about AI last time, and we will be saying about AI all the time. We will say about yeah. AI something here also. For example, I believe that there will be an algorithm that will be scanning the internet for me for looking at these cases, which uh, the use of it's already there. The Google Lens is an algorithm. It's an AI. So those guys who are using those, those artwork with an illegal purpose, with a legal way, they should first easily uh, find the artist by with Google Lens. It's just a matter of a few seconds, you know. Good. I find who, who has been uh, using my artwork illegally with this. Right. But I because think there's I, a ton of bots out there and law firms that use those type of bots. Yeah, yeah, but out. it will be, you know, because AI will be spe uh, special and specialized and specialized. Right. No, it will be a lot of uses from from AI, and uh, one of one of it it will be this also, or mm -hmm. or probably when it will be very uh, more um, advanced, I will right. be assigned it to create an app for me right. to scan the internet to find my works which uh, have been uh, has has been posted or used or something like that. Well, you know, YouTube uses it because when we post things on YouTube, it'll say scanning for copyright, but I don't yeah. think it scans vis uh, visuals. I think it scans more music because we'll get sometimes someone will play something. and I think like, it oh, scans YouTube. everything. Everything. People, there, right? there are no holes or which. No but holes, maybe. Gets, no, no. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, there I know are some we, dark net, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We did a live event once and somebody played something from the Beatles. And it said there's a copyright infringement in three countries, and they're all like Russia, uh, some other country. And I was like, I just laughed because it's like nowhere else was there an issue except in Russia. So someone claimed yeah, copyright with the Beatles in Russia, which was yeah. interesting. Didn't didn't we have one the other week, Steve? No, the, the thing that came through and it said, oh, copyright issue. You you have now been warned by YouTube that in the following company uh, countries, this uh, video. Will no longer be shown that was right, right. Uh, belarus north korea and russia right. thing okay yeah. well that's three of our largest markets gone straight away <laughs> yes all six people so <laughs> but no so it's very interesting but it is, but I think is, AI is it, it's a bit point. of a crazy world isn't it because it's like if you've got people say oh it's on my, it's on my telly if they see something on their telephone or on their computer they feel like, like, like they own it yep and you know and, and if we go right back to the beginning of you know, the, when Windows was first sort of uh, become available for everybody, you had these companies like, or even before pre pre pre, pre Windows, Word Perfect. Do you remember wow, that? I was going and back. Yeah, I do. I yeah, do. Got, because what it did was it never asked anybody to to pay for uh, you know to, to to buy copies of it. It just you know it wanted everybody to use it. And again, Microsoft did it, in, and I suppose Microsoft's going to sue me now for saying this, but allegedly, you know, if you think <laughs> about the Microsoft marketing department, they probably just let a whole load of stuff flow out in the beginning because people are sitting at home learning how to use all their products at home and their own time. And then when they go back into their businesses, they say, oh, um, I've got this, I found this really good word processor or this really good um you know spreadsheet etc cetera, etc cetera. oh and it happens to be from mr gates oh so mm. i suppose eventually well we, we will buy it and right. then you know small businesses then started getting all that they did here in europe started getting all the letters saying <clears throat> you we are assuming that you have an illegal copy of this product and now it's about time that you bought it so yeah maybe that's um maybe you need a huge company behind you adam to go out there and chase all the money for you. Well, uh, w what I want to say to those guys who are using it illegally and selling, making money from it, this is a problem. I'm, I, I, you know, I don't have big problem when somebody, you know, who doesn't have money just makes a copy. It's not original or something, which I would say that we have to support artists. You know, that's the way we live. And if they still want to, you know, us to create uh, artworks, they have to support us somehow, at least buy some print. So, uh, but the others which are making money, I will, I will chase them. And it's not only yeah. me, there are more guys who are asking me what to do. And I will chase them because it's a big issue. And those, this work, because this is, this is very famous work. And, uh, which one is it, Adam? Do, do, it's do, called Last Keys. It's called Last Keys. Oh, I remember that. That was the one of the yes, very first ones we did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because I, I wanted to show that it was a 
turning point of my career. Right. And yeah. uh, it's 12 years old, but it was, uh, for me, it's, I think that it's one of the most um, famous digital artworks. <laughs> for sure, 3D artworks. It's one of the most famous. And it will stay there because all over the internet, it's all over. And maybe people think that, but if you look at, uh, when you search with Google, it says to you that this image might be copyrighted. It says to you, yeah. already Google. Yeah. But we don't pay attention to those little details. But I have to tell that those people that's, when they'll be the, the case, uh, it's not that I will be doing, they'll be doing some guys who are professionals into this. Right. There'll be no mercy because it's break of the law. You know, it's, we can't tolerate this. You can't no, sell it's... others property. Right. You, you and it's can't. not good if you can't make money. And that's how you, if you're an no, artist, you can, and, and, and right. You can't, if you can't make money because people are going to just basically steal your work, that's not good either. Exactly. Yeah. And I think also with the AI, and uh, I think that th they will be easier for them because AI will also set some parameters for justice in a way, right. I think. Yeah. It'll be easier for an AI to, to see not only that you have copied the work, like taking it, they are taking literally as it, it is, and they are selling, they are printing it. That, that's what they do. Right. They don't change something. Sometimes they change, for, for example, this was black and white. <laughs> right. So the, and, the, the, and it's a little cropped. A little, okay. not much, but it's totally visible what work it is, and I could see it like a, from a. But from but Adam, listening. if you if we played something in the show now, right, uh, with uh, let's say we put Beyonce music on, and it went longer than than uh, thirty seconds. Yeah, they would they, they 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 would they, they we would they would close the show down. They would, we wouldn't be allowed to publish it because um, right. we do have to think how you you, the, the, you the got sound. published. Yeah, because of that. Do you, but yeah. is it possible then, or have people uh, have people discussed it with you, copyright people, as whether or not uh, digitally in that image? You know, it's it, it's, it's a very complicated. TikTok general, does it. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you start when you put something in TikTok, it says, "Oh, it's it's copyrighted." You know, and they and they take all the volume off if they don't like to look at. This it. is AI. What's already doing? You know what? Yeah. What finds out that this is copyrighted? AI and but, it's quite fast now, you see. But is that so something that you were, that you could integrate into your work? Is is it something that people have discussed with you? Some sort of um, you know permanent we, we watermark? We we have discussed this with other artists. We discuss it also on the Twitter, you know, because it's general. It's been always a problem for us. It's been always yeah. a problem because we're living in a, in, in, in a planet now with 7 million billion people and most of them have access to the internet. So most of them can actually, in theory, sell it, find it and sell because but, you sell it from the internet. But Somebody told me a... that he found my copy of my work somewhere in a market in Mexico, somewhere, I don't know, wow. but in a real, but that means that he printed it already and put it there to... He, yeah. he, he sent me a, a picture. There are a lot of people. Some others use it, but but they ask ask for it, and usually I give always I give the right. the permission for for tattoos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of people are wearing my my works on tattoo. There's a guy who has a whole arm with two artworks. There's a mixture, and the 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 the, the, the artist who did it was really pretty good because my works are, are difficult for tattoo. But now they are doing excellent work. They are doing crazy work with the tattoos. No, that's very but cool. isn't it isn't but, it strange? Is you think it's just like a, a big business, which is because the record companies, of course, they've got all the money invested in the particular artist, and so when stuff is copyrighted, they obviously cut a deal with the TikToks of the world and the YouTube of the world, saying, "Look, it's all copyrighted material." But you're not signed to a to a label, are you? You just you're just you doing your thing, and nobody seems to be nobody seems to want or desire to protect your work. Where if they can do it digitally with music, why can't they do it with art? Music is yeah. art as well, so you cannot se separate. Yeah, exactly. It. It's it's the exactly. same. It, right. it should fall in the same rule totally, I think. But the difference is because when when you have there is a there is a, a law for sure. But yeah, yeah. during the case, you have one side will you know show this, and there are some lim uh, limits. The law must be very specific, like because it's complicated. How big it was, how it was used, how many seconds. My work in this movie was all the time, almost like like in many takes, because it was the main take. You know, it was the room, the fireplace, and 
yeah. And so, I, so I guess it's a house that they are renting, but they have to know that they're using yeah. a house which is decorated, let's say, with, I saw some other base and I think that they were also kind of designed. So right. I, I don't know if that artist also would, or, or it, it's a company. Is, well, the, good, the nice here's the nice it. thing about it is at least that in the porn that your art was in, they were getting exercise, and while they were getting exercise, they were appreciating your artwork. So I mean, you know, you have to look at it that way. Yeah, the, the fact problem that they didn't is pay that, you, that look, it wasn't like story. this, but because they were <laughs> facing us, the camera, so right, the artwork, right. the artwork <laughs> was the for the audience. Oh, okay, because the porn was boring. Look at it this way: the porn was if so were, boring if that they you had to look at the artwork. It, it will be more romantic because there my you work go. They, is they, romantic right. and is based <laughs> on uh, eroticism and more than sex because sex is part part of the bigger thing right like life is part of bigger thing we're always part of bigger thing we so have to sex, be part of something sex, bigger we should we should talk uh, maybe one day about uh, love and sex a little i, we should, I like we could, very we could much do that sex. we could do that now if you want that's we have well, time we, let's do yeah. it all right we're going to talk about love and sex but that's the, part two but we have we have different artworks to show i think today. okay so next yeah, we'll talk yeah, about yeah, yeah we, will, we will next we'll, show which is on the 19th of this month we'll okay, talk about love be, and sex this, with different with different artworks because i'm uh yes. i'm uh, i have a phd on this <laughs> this is gonna be very I mean, interesting I mean, I mean as a, as a, as a, as a um, guy who studies it right right the phenomenon of um relate uh, the romantic relationship and uh, okay. psychology behind it in general psychology is also very important i study psychology Right. and philosophy a lot you know uh, yeah there was an incident I, sex. I, I am i am not sure that it was true that uh, there was uh, I, I i will say it but i'm not sure it's true okay. uh, when uh, marilyn monroe there was there was a case you know they had uh, on the court with with her ex-husband miller arthur miller right. yeah he was a writer right yeah. and uh, she says at the moment but uh, i couldn't be with him he was lying to me what he did he lie to you? He was staring all day at the sea and telling me that he's working. <laughs> <laughs> That's you probably know, so a true story. That's his creative process. Maybe, right? maybe. I don't know. Say, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. it, the truth is, as an artist, you work 20, uh, 24 uh, hours a day. Yeah. You work when you sleep. I have yeah. uh, taken insp in, in, inspiration is a word that uh, people who don't uh, actually uh create art use we don't right. at least okay i cannot speak for the other arts i can speak for myself uh, inspiration is everything everything in life is so interesting i mean but there is something and probably this is what you mean inspiration that many artists find very very like um, they, ha they they can have, have have an obsession with it so an artist usually uses kind of his obsessions either Oh, I think, I don't know if obsession is negative or, or, or positive. It can have both, but it doesn't matter. It's something that is stuck in your mind. Right. Well, I don't have so many ex obsessions or, or I have too many obsessions. I don't have one <laughs> or I have too many. I, I don't know. I don't have one. Right. But for example, the, the, the relationships, uh, the, the woman, the, the, the body of woman is, is kind of an obsession to me. It's very beautiful to me. I'm right. very much attracted by, by women. But uh, on the other hand, I'm thinking sometimes that because I'm quite sensitive, you know, that I'm not far from, from being gay. I've never been, you know, <laughs> I'm very open to the, to the matter. I'm, I, but it doesn't attract me, you know. Right. But I can easily touch a guy, you know. I can have um, very uh, deep feelings for, for, uh, for, for a man, you know. But right. I, I wouldn't go to, se to have sex. It doesn't attract me in this way. But the interesting thing, though, in America, like men will hug each other, kind of, not really. But when I'm in Europe, not I get hugged, I get kissed on the cheek. I mean, so yeah. in Europe, it's very open. So when it I'm in Europe, even doing, more, you know. Yeah, and was, I have many jokes, but I won't say any of them. But anyway, but um, <laughs> but in Europe, but in Europe, though, it's very funny because it's like I get off the airplane, I get a kiss, I get a hug, they hold my hand. And it, and it's just that's their way, and they're all how, and they're all secure with their masculinity and their manlyhood, right? They're not afraid. In America, Stephen, can I too, can I ask you? Could I ask yeah. you then? How did you? What? How did when that first happened to you? Yeah. How did you? What was your feelings then? Um, I knew because we when I was young, living where I lived, we lived with everyone in, in New York. Like you live with everybody, 
So in yeah. certain neighborhoods, when we would go and visit a friend of the, my mom or dad's, you would get kissed and hugged and the men would hold it. I was like, okay. okay. So okay. when I went to Europe, it wasn't like, oh my God, this guy's holding my hand and showing me something or this guy's no, giving no, me a kiss don't. on my cheek. It's like we no big deal. It's like, it's like whoever, no, who no, cares? It's, it's not yeah, nobody, it's no big deal. It's, it was no different than when you're dad. It's a sign that we are close or we, right. we would yeah. like you to be close be, to us. Right. It's, it's, it's your, you're my friend. It's, symbol, it's affection. Like right. It's all it is. It's yeah. no different than if your dad, when you're a small child, takes you by the hand through the amusement park. And that's what it is. So when I still go to Europe today. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, no, it's just, no. it's like, I had to, it's I, like, when I first came yeah. to Holland as well, it was really difficult because people, even guys would, 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 would kiss you. People who right. like, yeah, who were, you know, and, and, and in Greece as well, when I lived in Greece, yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. But in Holland, they give you three, they give you three kisses. Yep. One, one, is, and one. Which got, yeah, which is kind of freaks people out. And of course, when the Brits come over here, you know, I mean, they just say, uh, they just say, oh, 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 he touched if, if it's, me. He it's touched unexpected. Me. He yeah. must be, and, yeah. yeah, he must be gay because he touched me. No. Yeah. But we had a problem, your... you know, because it's in, in our culture, this thing, but right. uh, the, the pandemic stopped this. And ah. it's, it's, it's um, to the society. Yeah, it's you're kind very of touchy a wound, feeling. Uh, to, you know, groups, it's yeah. because we're, we're used to it. Right. Yeah. Right. Is it, it coming back been, now? Uh, but but we're kind of slowly getting back to it a little, you right. know. It's 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 stronger yeah. than the pandemic. Uh, yeah, I would say the same here as well. You still have people who want to give you, a, um, you know, use the fist, uh, you yeah. know, and, and for a greeting, and then other people are back to you know to shaking your hand or or giving you a give, just giving you a cuddle. I mean, I I, I tend to do that with, with with you know really good friends. You know, just yeah, I'm I'm pleased to see them. And and you know you know good, a good squeeze is like hey you know great that well, you're here sort of thing. David, yeah. I, David, I I I'm happy to see lo love anywhere I can see it. And yeah. now I will say I will say something strange maybe a little because I'm I'm an observer as an artist a lot and uh, we always say that the, the 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 animals like dogs or they don't feel something like we have the romantic love for example. Mm. Well, I start to think that they do, but not all the time like maybe we could we can have but we can make children all the time also as a species right mm -hmm. any kind of uh, uh, season or uh, month or, yeah. or anything just like rabbits. but the dogs they have some specific they have twice period so my dog has a period now she's younger mm -hmm. you need to castrate but we didn't no. and uh, uh, there are some days that she's crazy totally she's crazy she needs uh, a man let's say right so it's okay. written in the in like like in us yeah, so it's written, written in like the DNA. Code. Right. It's the evolution, actually, by right. millions, billions of years that it's written there. But she has some days before that, like now, that she likes to play. I can see that she's crazy for love, you know, to, to connect, not only with the body. I mean, with the body also, but play also. And right. she stands and she runs away, so he chases her, and it's like this. And I think that this is what we call romantic love, uh, because we do the same in a way that we play. And then we have sex. Right. <laughs> you know, right. It's written in the code. That's right. But we, it's, have the, it's, we have foreplay and then we have Yeah, sex, but this so, foreplay yeah. and the whole game, like um, we have developed it as humans because we have more complicated psychology, of right. course. So everything is yeah. more complicated. That's why we have society also. We have elevated those things into millions of different, you know. Now we have so many genders. So you see... Right. It's well, that's a that's a whole nother the LG it's, yeah. we, uh, we, on social intercourse. One of our other shows, they did a thing on LGBTQ. It's like uh, I'm glad you could say I, that, Stephen, because I can't get. I can't I, say I, well, that. here's how I kind of look at it. If for me, if the term I mean, gay we actually started as a term happy, but they turned it into whatever. Let's just say gay, because like I'm I'm tired of everyone saying you're. I don't care who I offend anymore. It's like LGBTQ M O U S C. I don't care. It's like. If you're gay, you're gay. I don't care if you're a cross dresser, if you're yes. trans, you're you're just gay. That's okay, it and it's be. okay, right? I don't want to have to. Why do we label everything? It's like all of a sudden well, everybody is, needs see, like it, a thing. I'm discriminated against because I'm dyslexic. So every time I read it, I just can't. I literally cannot see it how it's supposed to be. Right, and right. I'm thinking, you know, it's, so is it A B C or L G B L G B T Q? Stephen, yeah, I mean, we are I, labeling I, I, it. I, since oh, Ar just... Aristotle, this is the, the father yes. of labeling oh, things. Sure. Oh, it's all the Greeks' fault now. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. If they're, maybe. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's concepts. We put concepts. Right. We need concepts in our brain. We, our brains work with concepts. 
Right. We, we talked it before that uh, I was saying that, uh, that when we're looking at an abstract piece of art, still our brain is trying to find out specific, oh, I see a dog here, a cloud, which looks like a bunny or, or, or whatever. Yeah. Our mind cheese, don't... Cheese is on a piece of toast. Yeah. Right. But even if, if somebody tells you, yes, but you don't try to look uh, because the artist didn't have anything like this in, in his mind. Yeah, but this is... Artists be, be beyond artists. Right. Or, or some other guy, a very great um, well, historian. I'm gonna, Adam, I'm going to jump in because you, you very kindly sent me some stuff. So let's have a chance. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see. We because, you know, I, you, you are controlling things because I don't have a stop. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need a guy. We, always. we like that. We well, like that. I'm endless. I'm endless. And you are endless. Everybody's endless if he's in a good company, you know? That's yeah. true. And, we, yeah, well, and, and this yeah, show is, and this exactly, show is but, good company. So we always do good. It most yeah. certainly is, but we, you know, where people say, "Well, where's the art? We want to see Adam's art." So you well, can't be saying some stuff. No, this, this, because I will say it because it's important. This uh, guy, the Gombrich, uh, I don't remember the first name. Gombrich is his last name. It's the uh, for me, it's the best historian of art. If you want to to read a beautiful uh, uh, history, go read his right. history, Chronicle of Art, I think it's it's called. Okay. And he starts with with a very profound uh, statement: "There is no art; there are only artists." Wow! And this is very profound. And if you think deeper about it, it's it's the question that Stephen uh, asked: Why we have to label everything? Right. Yeah. And art yeah. is a label. Right. Art yeah. uh, artists are people who are expressing themselves, actually, uh, you see, as we progress as, as community, we don't accept as art only painting or only sculpturing, or uh, we accept now everything almost. Right. And slowly, you yourself, it's already happening. What we call influencers are actually right. artists, which are uh, themselves, I mean, like kind of actors, which are on the internet, sometimes in real, and they are doing their stuff, which people find interesting. That's why they follow. Right. Yeah. Or they are, I don't know, it's been so much promoted, you know, so that they, they believe it's interesting and they right. have to see. Okay. And they or follow better yet, also. their artwork is in porn and now everybody wants to meet the artist. Yeah. <laughs> but, there was a guy I'm, who I'm, said, I'm being... oh my God, I thought that you were the guy on the, in the porn. <laughs> oh, that's what yeah, I like that. <laughs> I, I had so much love yeah. with this uh with this post, so, I'm, try, I'm trying to promote. I'm trying to promote your art here, Adam. So I'm gonna let's I'm do gonna, it. Gonna, I'm, I'm go, David, put, it, put it up. We're waiting on you. you know, the, first, the, the, the first, well, actually, the first one's a very small, a short clip, so which means it will take everybody off the screen. So let me just okay, run. go ahead. Oh, that's very cool. This is the the abstract uh, side of me, actually, which is not totally, but it's. It's abstract. What you're looking here is what I was saying last time. This is um, a kind of art which is called normally uh, refractography. Okay. So you are not uh, seeing a model. Yeah. You are actually seeing a, a shadow. Shall we, mm -hmm. shall we run that again then, Adam? And you yeah, can you, can, you, can, you can put it again yeah. because it's, it's, this is actually in repeat. Hmm. It's loop. It's called loop. If it finishes, yeah. it starts yeah. again. So oh, wow. I, I do when I, when I do animations usually are loops. They are going forever. So you can see a model bending and twisting into many pieces, and uh, you can see the shadow of it. The shadow is more ob obvious on the upper side, but it's all over. The dark side is, and the the light side of it is the, the refracted light. So it's what what I was saying. Uh, it's caustics. Those caustics. Mm. The whole series called caustics of perception. Because for me, it, it's got uh, um, philosophical extension. Right. Because if you think about it, what's happening? There is, uh, first of all, I have to tell you that 3D program software, they can imitate reality in very well uh, uh, degree now. So it's a limitation of, of reality, what happens. It's optics, actually. So I have this model, which I've twisted here in, in uh, animation. And it's got a material which is transparent. It's like um, okay. glass or water or other transparent uh, materials like diamond. Uh, yeah. And this, the, the light goes, goes through the model and it's right. refracting the, the inside that it sees. But since it is twisting, it, it, the model starts with not twisting. It's just a tube. That's why nothing really happens. There's some colors at the beginning only. And right. then it starts to, to, to become more and more um, complicated. The, the, the forms that they, 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 they show. Yeah. So it's because it's, the model is twisting more and more. 
and it's creating so th this kind of artwork it's got a lot, a lot of because i've 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 um experimented with it a little so it's not totally by by like by luck all this thing uh, but there's always you cannot predict everything every kind of uh, you know how how it it uh, it will transparent uh, uh, show the, the envelope of light. You, you don't know it actually, but you can you can play with parameters. There's one parameter that that it exists in every kind of material that we have. The transparent. It's called IOR, index mm -hmm. of refraction. Every kind of um, material that which is transparent has got uh, this kind of number. For example, water has got the number is 1.333. The glass has a number of 1.5 to 1.7, depending on the glass. This was, um, I think, glass. It was 1.4. This parameter is very important for this kind of... Uh, so you play with some kind of parameters of this. It's not an easy task to do from computer, from simulation. I've been waiting, guys, I've been waiting years for this. I mean, I'm yeah. 20 <laughs> years into this. And I've, I've, if you look at my work, I'm kind of a tester of what 3D can do, you know? And this is producing style. I've produced so much styles but I never get too much deeper into it. But I am. This is not, not something new for me, actually. It's. But I'm. I'm doing it now again because it's more advanced now. I can have more mm -hmm. uh, control over it. Over it. And this is important. This here, you, you can see that you can see a, a human body, right? And right. you can say that even that it's female. I also, like I said, that I have a kind of obsession with female. <laughs> and uh, it's obvious that she's got something like it. She's pregnant, but she's pregnant with something which is abstract. And she is in a way abstract. And those caustics that you see, and look, if you see inside of the, uh, in the perimeter of the uh, shadow, because you, you have, again, shadow here, you need the shadow for the caustics to, to appear more uh, vibrant, for more mm. uh, contrast. Because on the top left, you can see also some other caustics, which are, are uh, uh, from reflection. Reflection also has caustics because it reflects light. It's all about mm. light, guys, here. Very cool. It's like light painting, but f through refraction. So uh, in a more, um, because I've, I've been talking about the, the, the technique here, how, how technically it, it, it's happening, it, very, very, uh, you know, uh, generally. Yeah. Because it's got some, some. this is different uh, use of it, which I'm experimenting. Because it's, it's, a, it's a really, really nice technique. I've been waiting for it. This is from a photo. I have retraced a photo in a special way. I, I put uh, uh, um, some, some kind uh, of uh, a modifier which makes a plane be more uh, 3D, you know. So it takes the form of the, of the photo. And then I refract it with colors. It's more complicated. Mm. And it's, it's, it, it, you feel like you are, those caustics, they feel like it's water, like, like, like because I, I live by the sea and I see it mm. every day. It looks, it gets the feeling that you're very in the sea. And this is a photo of a girl, it's my girlfriend. She's right. uh, jumping, has jumped into the water. It's, it's from, from the water. Very it's a very cool. nice technique. You can use it in many ways. And for me also, the, the psychological and uh, the philosophical issue is, is we are also as an artist and also as living beings, we're always expressors. We're always, in a, in a greater sense, we're all artists because what we're doing in life, we're expressing ourselves. I, that means that the thing that we believe that it's ourself. This was, this was supposed to be one of the other uh, episodes we had about identity, the thing right. that we believe that we are. Or what the others believe we are, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm. This is the identity thing, and um, so, so I believe that uh, as as things happen during our life, as uh, environment is affecting us, we are um, building our identity, and through this identity, we're expressing. Well, mm. if you are expressing in this kind of way, you are an artist, a professional artist, because you also sell these things. So, so you are, this is what we say, artists. But everybody is ex expressing. When you say something to somebody, and it's either something you are hiding, either, either, either something practical, that you want to buy something, you're expressing something, you're expressing a desire to buy something. It's a desire, it's, it's your need. And this need, it's practical, but it's got also, because everything is very much connected, it's got also sentimental uh, 
uh, extensions. Like if you're hungry and you go to buy something and he doesn't sell it to you, it's going to be, you're going to be mad <laughs> emotionally. Mm. I mean, because you need to eat, you know? So I'm just saying generally. So you yeah. can see, for example, here, I've used something else. Here is a figure of, uh, of two women. Mm. Because you can see three hands. Can you see, you can see, I, I actually, yeah. Two hands are refracted, and the one is that is down is from a second person. Then you can see only the uh, the shadow because on this one I, I left only the shadow. So I played a little with this. So this one is got it's one of of the series the 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 caustics of perception, but it's got got its own name which is called Summer Games because it reminded me the games that are in here in front of my my house that sometimes they play and there'll be mm -hmm. more during the summer. So maybe there'll be more works like this that they play in you know, summer games. It's, it's very interesting thing. I've never watched summer games, you know, on the sand. It's a different kind of game. Right. So with light also, because it's um, this, this light, it's very hard to create those caustics, you know, the way you want it. It's, it's really hard. And you have to take it into parameter other things also, like the background. This is, for example, I set a sun, and it's after, it's it's close to the sunset. So that's why it's a little more uh, red, a little more yellowish. Hmm. Those things also matter in, in those compositions. It's very pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like I like it, and this is probably the most uh, the one that people like the most. It was the first of those, and this one sold to to texas to austin somebody oh, austin texas to use, somebody get, bought this there got, you go got, yeah well, got they, one they, and it's they, on its way oh, original print from you one of our limited edition print yes yes the the bigger ones which has got oh, the bigger uh, one, 12, yeah. 12 edition 12 editions only very yeah. nice and this one is it's really nice because it's got the philosophy which i really because i have to tell you also that you don't have a full control over what you do you never do and it's part of the game. But I would like to have more and more because in some artworks I have more and some other I don't. So it's something that is variable. And in this one I had, but I didn't. But it showed me by itself, like the, the artwork, it's probably more uh, in, uh, the, the intuition, I use the intuition, that it's what it describes as an artwork, what you're looking as philosophy, because here you can see easily the, the the form of the girl it's it's a young girl that is looking at something which reminds a bird it's not a bird it's an abstract form but people think mm -hmm. it's a bird and i like this you see it's, it's a game between abstract and more real because your mind is creating what you see here you mm -hmm. don't also see any any kind of models your mind is creating right. this but it, your mind would probably didn't wouldn't find out what it is be, 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 uh, without the, the shadow because the shadow is gives you the the realistic part of it, and it gives you the to your your brain the ability to say, "Oh, I see a girl," because there is this abstract in a way, isn't yeah. it? The right part is kind of abstract, but if you combine the shadow, you know that you're seeing a, a, a girl, yeah. and it's refracted, and those like energy lights they don't look like energy like that it's got that it's something going on inside and if you go up there's a difference because i changed the color of it because i wanted to change the the, the brain thing because uh, adam could i could i just ask you then yes, yes, is this an is this a, a piece of art by artistic accident or or have you planned this all out before well before you know i've out? i've been i've been experimenting a lot to, to come to, I've I've seen other artworks before this, but I didn't I, I didn't feel that they are ready to what I'm looking for, um, playing with this uh, technique and also with my ideas because you cannot take out your ideas of your philosophical mm -hmm. ideas your your point of view of the of of, of life you cannot take it away. Uh, not not a moment. If you can, you are a, a Zen monk in uh, in, in Tibet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can take out your, your thoughts, I cannot. I don't meditate. I meditate right. through the artworks, but sometimes I get lost into it. Uh, the accidents will happen anyway. So, I mean, there is something that uh, there are artists now who do generative art. They put it, AR is this happy accident. It's, right. it's, but it's, only, it's mainly this. And 
with the prompts that you guided and then happy accident, happy accident. Oh, I like this happy accident. So it's, it's, I, I said it last time, it's not very different, but 3D is also AI. It's algorithms, but yeah. it's not this, this uh, uh, develop, this advanced AI. The other AI, the, the AI that we are using now with mid-journey and stuff is, is, is very, very advanced comparing to this. This year, yeah. I have to manually uh, guide a lot, a lot. I have to I, 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 I have to experiment a lot to get to a to, to a point that I like that I, I I assign as an artwork that is it's representing me to what I have I feel and as I see what I see to my cognitive apparatus for example and my feelings also right. so it's and so this 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 like almost all of them they got the, the happy accident some less some more. This got the exact, uh, let's say, um, uh, amount of happy accident, but it's got more. It's got something that the happy accident uh, like uh, guided me to see something from the artwork. I I've told you from the very first time that I'm not always speaking, uh, you know, uh, what I say and who I am, the identity thing that we need to speak right. uh, once. Uh, there are things that are speaking through me and I, I believe that they're speaking through everybody. You are speaking yourself, okay, with your life, what you know, but there are bigger things beyond us that are speaking through us. And I try to figure out which, which is which. And, and I think I know now that sometimes this is not me or it's something that I already know I have to get rid of because it's not me. I don't feel comfortable with it, but I have to live with it. That means it's, it's using me in a way. So I need to express it. It needs to be expressed. That's what it really wants because everything is expression. So the, our bad point, this is another issue we need to talk also, the demons that we have. Oh, yeah. The psychological, it's everybody has. Yeah. Some are of big, you know, enormous uh, degree and uh, level and some others uh, lower. But it's also a thing of the balance that we're also speaking. All right. Well, so, next, so next show is going to be full of sex, demons and... Everything else. Every, so we, you know, we, we can be talking forever because art yes. is life. I, we, <laughs> yeah. just, we are exactly, it's, it's, it's yeah. kind of um, pretext, you know, in a way. It's one of yeah. our doings. Yeah. It's one of the things, or, of doings of the universe, of the consciousness. It's art yeah. and life and everything. It's one of the doings. I agree. Consciousness in the yeah. uh, God, uh, however you call it, well, yeah. is doing things all the time. And one of the doings is life. But it's so complicated. And our mind are, you, you know, we are getting complicated because it is complicated. It wants us to become more complicated. It's, right. it, it wants us to have AI. I think so. Of course it does. Say, if it didn't say, want, if it didn't want, say that we're not? it wouldn't be here. Right. But who's to say but we're not AI? The creator, say, or if there is a creator, yeah. maybe it's only a medium, but the medium, it allows some things. Like, right, right. There is gravity, for example, yeah. yes. You right. cannot take the gravity out of, of Earth because no. it's kind of a law. So this law has allowed with other laws things to come into this kind of balance and we can talk about those things right now. It's crazy mm. in a way. It's beyond us much more, but it, it, it wants to be understood right. with scientific way that we are building and we're doing right because we, with science, we are uh, trying to find out how it works. So it will right. help us, that's what we're doing then, to imitate in a way, to produ produce other stuff like AI, right. which is crazy because it's, uh, we are, you know what our problem is, our uh, humans, that we are, let's say, it, there is uh, artificial intelligence. So what are we? Are we right. or, uh, organic intelligence or what? So the problem is for what we understand of this universe, we're organic and AI is artificial. But who's to say that whoever created us, we're the artificial intelligence creating another artificial intelligence. You believe that we are already yeah. artificial. Yes, because we were created. Yes. Yeah, because artificial yes. is a concept. You need to define yeah. it in what yeah. way you mean it. Because since we are nature and we created something else, Nature create nature again. You cannot right. create, you know. But we put it as a label that it's um, man-made, not universe. But we are right. the universe. I look at Pollock was saying people. this that yeah. I am nature. What yeah. I'm producing. Well, I look at what are some are born and some are created. So yeah, I'm, I'm what one of the things, unfortunately, which is truly artificial. He's just a joy. It's, it's time. <laughs> 
that's no, that's, so, that's that's true. that's the best so, closing a man could have in this show really, david <laughs> big kudos to you you know there how you to guide things so i'm very david, very good <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you very much don't forget to subscribe yeah. don't forget to like have them back on the 19th of this month and for more and, and sex and rock and sex, roll sex drugs and rock yeah, and roll next there month you go will be very hot Next, yeah, the 19th of June, everybody. Don't forget yeah. to subscribe and like to the channel. Leave your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to read, uh, leave them. There we go. The God Help Us production. We got to get that in.